So there's been some improvements to the panto router. Um, the thickness gauge and fine adjustment, that's an improvement. And the clamps, uh, both pneumatic and lever action. So let's get into these guys. First of all, the thickness gauge. Come on over here and get a little closer look. Here's the old thickness gauge down here. Um, this one's got a lot more surface to it. And I'm finding it's far more accurate. There's also a fine adjustment. Let's go over here and take a look at it. You can see it's this guy right here. He moves up and down, touches this guy, which is in contact with the template holder. So as this guy moves up and down, you can move this up and down. Right here, let's zoom in a little closer right here. Each one of these little lines represents four thousandths of an inch. So the fine adjustment is truly fine. Uh, but to tell you the truth, uh, I've been playing with this stuff for a little while now and I haven't had to use this yet. The um, improvement to the uh, thickness gauge um, is pretty accurate. But these are the guys I'm truly excited about. Um, Several years ago, I was asked what I thought of the Panto router. One thing I suggested uh, was pneumatics and a clamp that swivels. I was one of the many people asking for a swivel clamp. The swivel clamp by itself is a huge improvement. Um, this guy also swivels too, so, uh, but I prefer the pneumatics. Now, to accommodate these guys, they've added some stiffener bars down here. So when I got these guys, I needed to do some plumbing for the air and all this stuff. Uh, and as often happens, when I start in on something like this, it expands to other things as well. Um, previously, I had the Panto router sitting here. You can see it slides back and forth. Real quick, let me show you why that is so. This door hits on there. So when this guy's not in use, he can slide back like that. Uh, I also uh, mounted this plate here where I can put the accessories up there. There's another plate up here. And that's going to have like an articulated arm with a light um, that's coming. There's an important point I want to make here uh, that I think is often overlooked. Uh, there's a couple obvious advantages of the pneumatic clamps. These in particular, you know, the swivel um, gives you a lot of um, versatility and clamping. Uh, and the, you know, Pneumatics come down real quick. You can get pieces stock in and out of there uh, very quickly, and you can just run stock through the Panto router uh, just pell-mell, just go, 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 go. But what's overlooked a lot is with these guys coming down exactly the same place with the exact same pressure, every time you have consistency. That consistency eliminates variables. Fewer variables, it lends itself to more accuracy. So I feel I get more accurate, consistent uh, cuts with um, the pneumatics. So one, one thing I did, I did not want the switch, the pneumatic switch right here. I felt it would be in the way of, of stock and just operations in general. So I mounted it up here. Uh, another point is um, it's recommended not more than 50 pounds pressure. That's a lot of pressure. I have my regulator set at 40 and that's more than enough pressure. So um, let's run a piece through here and I'll show you uh, how they work.
Now, to be fair, uh, I was sent all this stuff, all these upgrades, um, but it was more of, you know, they'd like my feedback. Uh, I was not told that I needed to do a video or uh, do recommendations, but these guys especially. I like the uh, new thickness gauge improvements, but the pneumatics, uh, boy, that just changes this machine. This, it makes it an entirely new machine, puts this at a different level. So um, I'm really recommending the air clamps. Mm -hmm.